When you get a new Windows 10 PC, there are settings that you'll likely want to change to improve the performance, increase your productivity, and enhance the overall usability. In this video, I'll show you more than a dozen settings that you'll want to change right away. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. We'll start with the absolute basics first before moving on to the more advanced settings coming up later in this video. You'll notice when you first launch Windows 10 that Microsoft Edge is your default internet browser. While it has improved quite a bit, you may prefer to use another that suits you better. To change your default internet browser, left-click the Windows Start menu in the lower left of the taskbar and select Settings. Go over to Apps and click on it. In the left pane, select Default Apps. Find Web Browser in the list and click on Microsoft Edge. From the list of installed browsers, click on the one you want as your default browser. Vivaldi is a good one. You'll now get this pop-up that says Check It Out or Switch Anyway. Click on Switch Anyway. After making the change, all links you click on from your email or any other non-browser source will now open in the default browser you chose. Most often when you buy a new Windows 10 PC, you'll find software like antivirus trialware, free-to-play games, or some other software pre-installed, taking up valuable disk space and resources. To uninstall this crapware, here on the Settings app home screen, let's go back into Apps and make sure that Apps and Features in the left pane is selected. Now scroll through the list of apps that you have installed. When you find one that you want to remove, click on it and select Uninstall. And click Uninstall again. This would also be a good time to remove any programs you've installed that you no longer use or trust. And I found one here. Uninstall and Uninstall again. By default, Windows 10 apps, menus, and folders all have a light background with black text. If you prefer a black background with white text instead, on the Settings home screen, go to Personalization. In the left pane, select Colors. Where it says Choose Your Color, in the drop-down menu, your choices are Light, Dark, and Custom. To enable Dark Mode, select Dark. Let's go back to the drop-down menu. When you choose Custom, it lets you mix and match whether it's Light or Dark for the default Windows Mode and default App Mode. While many companies will say that they truly care about your privacy, they really don't. And Microsoft is no different. To keep more of your information to yourself and reduce what Microsoft knows about you, on the Settings home screen, go to Privacy. Make sure that you're in the General tab here on the left. Over here on the right, while Microsoft uses clever wording to make each of these seem helpful when you have them turned on, the honest truth is that they're really not. So it's best to switch all of these to off. If you have one of those low-priced PCs that don't typically give you a lot of disk space, Storage Sense can help you out to free up space for files that you no longer need. On the Settings home screen to enable Storage Sense, go to System. In the left pane, select Storage. Here at the top where it says, Storage Sense can automatically free up space by getting rid of files that you don't need, like temporary files and content in your recycle bin, toggle the switch to On. Then click Configure Storage Sense or Run It Now. Under the subheading Run Storage Sense, you can configure it to run every day, every week, every month, or during low, free disk space to remove files in your Downloads folder and Recycle Bin. If you check the box in Temporary Files, it will delete files your apps are no longer using. Selecting the drop-down menus lets you choose how often this occurs. And below that, if you want to free up some space right away, Click the Clean Now button. When setting up the operating system, Windows 10 will decide on the proper size of the text, icons, and other elements for your laptop screen or external display. Sometimes the scaling is too small to read or too large where everything doesn't fit. On the Settings app home screen, to adjust the display scaling, go to System. Make sure that display is selected in the left pane and select the display on the right that you need to adjust. Scroll down to the section, Scale and Layout. Select the first drop-down menu in this section and experiment with the different percentages to find a scaling that works best for you in your situation. 
When you start up your computer, there are many unneeded programs that will also want to start slowing down your boot time. To disable those programs you don't need immediately upon launch, right-click the taskbar and select Task Manager. Here at the top, select the Startup tab. Click the Status Filter to show those that are enabled at the top. Select a program you'd like to disable when your computer starts. And then here in the lower right, select Disable. By default, whenever you install a program or change a vital setting, you'll have an annoying dialog box pop up asking, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your PC? Well, if you know what you're doing and you don't want to be treated like a three-year-old, go to the search box in the lower left and type user account control. Select change user account control settings. The default setting is notify me only when apps try to make changes to my computer. The slider lets you increase and decrease the levels of notification. When you move the slider all the way down, you will never get notified when installing software or making changes to your computer. But doing this could put your system at risk in case of human error. Do what works best for you based on your experience level. If you make any changes, click OK. Those suffixes at the end of file names that let you know the type of file are hidden by default. Apparently, Microsoft thinks file extensions are confusing for most people. To make all file extensions visible, in the search box, enter File Explorer Options. Then select it. Go to the View tab and uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types. While we're here, Microsoft also hides many files and folders, including operating system files. To make those visible, toggle Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. Let's scroll down. Make sure the box next to Hide Protected Operating System Files is unchecked. When you're done making your changes, click OK. If you're someone that loves keyboard shortcuts that help to save you time, I'll show you how to create keyboard shortcuts to launch your favorite programs. For this one, we'll use the command prompt. In the search box, type CMD. Right-click on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Enter Explorer space shell colon apps with a capital A folder with a capital F then hit enter on your keyboard. A window will open listing all the programs that you have installed. When you find a program that you use often, left click on it and drag it to your desktop. Right click on the shortcut and select properties. In the shortcut key box, enter the key combo beginning with control alt and a letter. Then click OK. Now when you use the keyboard shortcut, that program will open. Repeat the steps to create keyboard shortcuts for the other programs that you use. For those times your computer begins acting crazy due to a faulty driver, an install of bad software, or some other reason, your best option is to revert back to a time when your PC worked perfectly. To do this, you'll need to enable system protection and set up system restore points. In the search box, enter restore point. Select create a restore point. With the system protection tab selected, select the system drive, which for most of you will be the C drive. Then click configure. Toggle on, turn on system protection. Move the slider below to adjust the maximum disk space usage. I recommend anywhere from three to 5%. When you're done, click okay. To create your first restore point, click on Create. Give it a name. I'll call it My First Restore Point. I won't be doing this now, but when you click on Create, just wait for it to finish. For the next two settings, we'll be working with the Registry Editor. It's highly advised to create a restore point prior to making any changes to the registry. In the search box, enter RegEdit. Select Registry Editor. Prior to logging into your system, Windows 10 will show you an unnecessary lock screen that you have to click through first before entering your PIN or password. To get rid of it, double click H key Local Machine, go down to Software, double click, scroll down if needed, go to Policies, Microsoft, Windows, and Personalization. 
With personalization selected, right click in the right pane, hover new, and click DWORD 32-bit value. Name it no lock screen, exactly as it appears on screen, with no spaces, with the first letter of each word capitalized. Open it up and set the value to one. Click OK when you're done. Another irritating issue for Windows users is waiting for the programs and processes you have running to exit, slowing down the shutdown process. Here's how you can speed up shutdowns. Once again, in the search box, type regedit and select registry editor. Double click H key local machine, go down to system, current control set, and control. Here on the right, double click rate to kill service timeout. It's currently set to 5,000. Set the value to no lower than 2,000. This is the time in milliseconds Windows will wait to terminate an unresponsive service. After you click OK, we'll be creating three new strings. Just above H key local machine, double click H key current user. Go to control panel and desktop. Over here in the right pane, go to an empty space and right click, hover new and select string value and you'll see it down here highlighted in blue. Name it wait to kill app timeout. With the string and the two to follow, it's important to name them exactly as shown on the screen. Open it, set the value to 2000 and click OK. Create a new string value. We'll name this one hung app timeout. Open it and set this value to 2000 as well. Then click OK. And for the final string, create a new string as you did before. And name this one Auto End Tasks. Open it and set its value to 1. Then click OK. After following these steps, you should notice that your shutdown time is now much quicker than it was before. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What settings would you recommend that people change on Windows 10? Let us know about them in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Windows 10 tips and tricks here on Tech Gumbo.